Yes. And it was a, it's crazy to say that it's a character loyalty thing, right? Because, like, a lot of people don't even realize that the Buzz was one of the best brawl, uh, brawl Pikmin and Olimars in the business. Like, this is not a, like, yo, I'm switching up, man, to kind of stay hip with the times and, like, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying, stay up with the current meta. Like, no, this is home sweet home, actually, for the Buzz, like you said. Yeah, and there we finally have Mr. E coming out. The fro. Didn't that man just post pictures of his hair in braids yesterday? How man. is this? How? Okay. Either way, the fro too strong. Let's fro is it. definitely too strong. It's a power up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, sitting down, and we know we're going to see him uh, go with Lucina, of course. Maybe Marth. I think he still plays both of them, but I'm not sure on that one. Yeah, you know, I think, like you said, it's a uh, it's a pride thing. In our hearts, everybody wants to see Marth, you know. Yeah. But uh, at the end of the day, especially to be this late in the bracket, you know, we're top 32, moving slowly but surely into top 16. Uh -huh. And then, of course, we got top 8 on the horizon as well. So, you know, you got to go with what's going to get the job done. You know, it's like the age of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yes. But then, like, that's subjective, too, because everybody has a different opinion on what broke actually is. Yes. And uh, going with the best skin for Lucina, too. Yeah, As free, long as she got free. the red, pink hair, we in there. Yeah, man, pink hair is busted. Even the green-haired one because the clothes are pink and, and pink and white? Yeah. All right. It, well, okay, I'll meet you halfway. The green-haired one, is, they're, they're giving me, like, shades of Cisco thong song. They're giving <laughs> me that, that type of, like, yo, man, I'm, I'm seeing just all Cisco with the green hair. You're not wrong. But I'm, I'm going to meet you at the red hair, though. Let's go ahead and get right into this game, number one. Uh, oh, oh one actually not. Mean. I was about to say, interesting start from Mr. You're going to jump off the right side and throw a nair, okay? That's right. Brawl vets playing like it is brawl, man. Not a, not approaching. No, I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah, it's nah, a button nah. check. You're not kidding. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but also I do like that he's gonna have a sword in this matchup because those Pikmin uh, can be so so horrible for you, mm -hmm. racking up a ton of percentage. But if you have a sword, you can easily just jump there, like you see Mr. E doing so fast, low middle and gets them off pretty quick. That's right. It's all gonna be. It's gonna be about that Pikmin manageability here for the Buzz. I know that kind of goes without saying, but I think in, in matchups versus characters like uh, like Lucina or just any character with the sword, it it literally matters that much more because they have the tools needed to kill your Pikmin very very quick, regardless if they're on them or not. All right, but one thing that I really do appreciate about the Buzz is that he's really good at spacing. Uh, his spacing game and his bait and punish game is completely unmatched more times than not on the stick. So. We'll see how well that stacks up against a character who just spaces for a living like Lucina. Yeah, that's very true for a living, she does. And uh, yeah, for game one, I'm assuming they're going to go to Battlefield as well. They probably already did the character pick, yep. stage pick, all that. Yep, Battlefield it is. Let's sit right down here. All right, Lucina with the red hair, smart man. And again, like we said, I'm glad that he's going to opt to start Olimar. Maybe if situations get hairy, switch over to Rosa. But uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Yeah. We've seen, or Mr. E actually had a very decisive victory over his opponent we saw earlier. That's right. But I'm sure the Buzz had no problems with his either. Yeah. Yeah, these uh, at this part in bracket, all right, there, there are no more slouches, all right? It's all killers yeah, in the yeah, water yeah. out here, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get into game at number one the right way. No button check. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. And fresh out the gate, man. Uh, Mr. E started out very, very strong. Drawing some quick blood here, but you know, you obviously you can't go too ham on Pikmin and all of them. Like I said before, the Buzz has a very strong bait and punish play style, no matter how big, no matter how long the character is. Yeah, absolutely true. My man right now just kind of rolling around, trying to avoid more hits that are coming his way. A flurry of swords, man, just swinging in his direction. That's right. As you see, it's obviously not stopping here. Good positioning here on the ledge of the stage. Not allowing himself to be knocked away too far. He really wants to hold down that position. But if there's a will, there's always going to be certainly a way with the Buzz. He's going to always find a way back towards center stage. Now, this is tricky right here. He has a blue Pikmin and he has a purple Pikmin. Mr. E's going to have to watch himself. All right, and suddenly this is in the Buzz's favor, and he has the stage control right now. Going to set up an edge guard, but smart on Mr. E to go hide and knock the Buzz away and not allow him to set up anything. Yes. Okay, the falling up air, looking to start up a combo here. Runs right up. Wow. <laughs> Okay. I was about to say, the Buzz is a character who likes to be in the pocket or the corner, has no problems with it, but wow, that back air swinging so hard. And did you see for a second he had two purples and the white, man? Man, wow. Such a horrifying combination. Yes, man, double purple plus anything right now is looking Literally, crazy. Literally, yeah. All right, but he has double purple and the yellow right now, looking like the L.A. Lakers here. <laughs> Let's see if he can play better than LeBron, though. And he's got the management coming down, too, making sure that he's not wasting his purple ones, but unfortunately one of them going to lose their stock. Oh, okay, goes for the fourth throw, smart stuff. Let's him back on stage, too. Doesn't want to have to go out there and go for any sort of like awkward or uh, wild punish. He decided to let him come back on the stage the way he did. That way he was able to hold him down over there. Right, and man, Olimar is one of those characters you really don't want to be down against at all because you see the way he can just run away, set up, throw a Pikmin back off, and you're going to eat so much percent. And one of the things you want to do when you're down is stop that bleeding, but you really can't versus Olimar. Ooh, okay, and I see Mr. E kind of pop up out of his seat. He's like, fool, I have you right where I want you. 
the buzz like actually you don't sir. <laughs> actually no now yeah. you're off stage but mr or uh, the buzz actually holding on to the stage control once again got the ledge drop opportunity and that's just kind of how the neutral goes versus pikmin Auburn. there's going to be times where you're like just boxing up close and personal and then next thing you know he's just like running you're just like wait what what's going on here yeah. he's like actually i'm out and you see a lot more mix-ups coming through from mr e actually jumping from the ledge but doesn't matter man now the buzz taking over two stocks up on this man. That's right. So precise with his movement. Obviously not throwing, um, not pressing a lot of buttons, but pressing the right buttons indeed here. Wait a minute. Can he get a KO? Okay, goes for the oh. up B right into the back air. Is he oh. going to run out of gas? Oh, I love that. He dipped so low to make sure he could get over to the right side. Still hanging on to a stock at 146 with such a light character. That's right, man. I really hope this isn't a three side. It's going to be pretty demoralized. Going into game number two, gets the up smash up air. Some pretty simplistic combos being put on board here. Playing the floor is lava, taking the platforms away from him. The buzz sets a scary opponent this man to is be still underneath. Living too. 54% already racked up on Mr. E, and he cannot find the stock, man. He's hit him with so many, uh, like, horrifying attacks to up smash, forward tilt, up tilt. There's another forward tilt for you, but he is holding on. That's right. Okay, stalling out, too. I like that. He knows that Mr. E is always going to try to go off stage and go for the us, to go for the stage spike. Right. And even though the buzz pretty good at catching the stage text, he would rather not even be in that situation in the first place. Again, the Lakers are back out. Yeah, they're sitting on the ledge, too. Got that up smash on deck. And now can he land, man? Oh, good on the buzz. Or uh, Mr. E, lucky for him, he's going to back away and finally able to find that up tilt kill. Yes, yes. And Mr. E had to kind of switch up the approach options a little bit more there. That's the thing about characters, especially the Fire, em sor Fire Emblem sorties, is that, you know, sometimes they can autopilot into some linear approaches. And chances are, you know, not everybody's parry game is as nice as it could be, but with Pikmin Olimar, we talked about it in some of those earlier sets with Shuton, you have to make sure your parry game is nice. Turn around for some ass right there to close it out. Liquid the Buzz goes up a game on my man, Mr. E. And I'm actually surprised because didn't Mr. E try to grab him, but I think Olimar kind of dipped back slightly when he threw that forward smash right there yes. and pushed him out of the way of the grab. Wow. Shades of like, uh, like Wolf and, uh, and, uh, and Mario, the Buzz. Yeah, yeah, like Wolf and Mario kind of have like a, a bit of a step back too. That's like some FGC stuff. I right, mean, I don't know what the hell's going on behind me, but I, I see. I think it's Wadi versus YB. Let's go, Wadi. Uh oh. <laughs> Just in case, wait. Let's go, Wadi. Is that you over there? That's right. <laughs> okay. No bias. Okay, he's not on stage. It doesn't matter. All right, but anyway, we're gonna go into game two, focusing up on the Buzz versus Mr. E. No distractions. All right. What are we going to do here? It's going to be a treat, man. So I'm going to see how well Mr. E can adjust as we move into game number two. We're starting it out here on Town & City as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe maybe it wasn't Wadi. Yeah, he's standing over there, so I would say not. But either way, we're going to see that Buzz and Mr. E are the ones sitting down right now. Uh, Mr. E already at 76. My goodness. This is what I'm talking about. One yeah. confirmed for Olimar, and he's racking you up to kill percent. That's right. And it's really – it's it makes you – it makes your mindset versus Olimar switch up because you're like, okay, obviously this is going to be a zone-based character. Um, you know, I just have to figure out a way to break the zone. But it's like, even if you break the zone, you're still covered in pigments, chances are. Yeah, and not to mention, like, he has so many options to kill you with, too. So not only are you taking all the damage in the world, you're, you're going to die very fast. Absolutely. And look at that white one was on him and uh, forward air. Goodbye. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't the, know what to say. The, the aerial game here from the buzz is, is just, it's so, it's been so pristine, man. And that's actually really awkward to say because, like we talked about earlier in Mr. E Play, a lot of Lucina's neutral starts out of like a short hop animation, as you see right there. There's the short hop in there, looking to start something up at these low percent. But it's just the buzz is beating him to the punch. Anytime he sees those boots leave the ground for Lucina, he's like forward air. Free. Yeah, yeah. And again, that's a disjointed move for him. Both of them have the disjoints, but somehow Olimar's been winning a majority of these exchanges. So you got to respect. Monique, okay, like these purple pigments, like they just they come to play. Yeah, big Bertha, man, she's not playing with you. That's right. Or Smash 2, just gonna knock him off and take more percent. And it's interesting how DeBuzz opts the ledge guard. A lot of the time you see him walk towards the ledge and right there roll away. He's Ooh. not really trying to set up anything too crazy. And you can't overextend versus the buzz either, because as you see, he'll go for an overextension. And he'll either get hit with a turnaround Pikmin toss or a turnaround forest mass. And you know, historically, this is a deadly combination, as you see right here, looking for the grab. Yeah, okay. and I am glad to see that Mr. E is not giving up anything right now, He's holding on to his mentality, because this is a matchup who you got to know you're going to take like 100% before you get to play, oh and God. maybe lose two stocks before you get to play. Uh, you know what, though? You can't win unless you play, so let, let's see what's going to go down here, man, unfortunately. <laughs> Has the double purple plus the white. Things are not looking good here for Mr. E. But, you know, the great thing about Lucina is that she's more consistent than Mark. Obviously, we've seen that, you know, yeah. just historically. And obviously, she packs a whopping punch. It's just he's not finding the right opportunities to put on percent for stocks. Now, he's doing okay at uh, dancing around in the neutral. But just when it comes to taking stocks, Mr. Uh, e is just not in the right position at all. Yeah, so 
man, this boy trying to land here, able to get away. And it, it just keeps looking like he's cooking up these three stock victories. You don't want to let that happen. He was able to actually take the stock at the end of uh, game one, but it was so far too late. That's right. And this one looking so far too late as Look well. Look at Grim. Is that purple? Oh, okay. Didn't didn't get the red stuff that time. But he's not going to survive too many more of these grabs. Tosses the blue out. Yeah, I'm surprised he actually opted to get rid of his blue one. Now only having Monique in his hands. What's the plan, man? Now usually a higher percentage you'll see them keep the yeah nice. yeah he brought he brought the flame. Yeah, he br he brought the fire. Yeah, fire and the flame. Very unfortunate situation to be in if you are but or uh, Mr. E going down two games right now. Maybe he felt like he didn't need the blue because at later percents, like, mm -hmm. okay, had they been, like, both on one stock at those percents, obviously we would see the blue one stay because yeah. he's going to use that as a longer range to look for a grab to kill at later percents. But because he, I think he was at uh, such a comfortable position, he's like, you know what, don't really need it. That's you know? the thing. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to play 100% optimal when you're up, you know, three stocks. Yeah, you can get you can get sexy sometimes. Sometimes yeah. you can just do what you want on the sticks. Yeah, if you want to just swing it up smash, why not? He's nowhere near you. That's, That's okay. Right. Okay, here we go. Game three, though. We're going to be on Battlefield. Uh, Mr. E's counter pick. Something about the platforms that makes him feel a little bit better here. It's not always just about hindering your opponent with a stage choice, although that is very important. You can also got to make sure you have yourself comfy. Yes, absolutely. Okay, this match obviously starting out a little bit closer than on some of those other uh, previous matches now. Uh, and I think that's due to the fact that, obviously, you know, Mr. E has these platforms to kind of, well, never mind. I was ready to say, he had the platforms to kind of work with that can keep him away from getting hit with just unnecessary Pikmin damage, but it doesn't matter, man. The Buzz is going to find a way in, man. As you see right now, has the double red plus the purple. Mr. E playing a little bit more safe now. Yeah, he's trying to just hold back and see what he can get away with because these situations have been absolutely in the Buzz's favor every single time. Uh -huh. Mr. E wants to make that, you know, the reverse. Trying to jump around here just in the center stage, not take on any more Pikmin at 98. I mean, he's already killed for since, so look at him, 115. Oh, my. Okay, runs right up, goes for the forward tilt. Some safe options. The dare right off the ledge of stage. I don't know how I feel about that, but good stuff. Using his neutral special, give himself some coverage. Yes, but it was just met with some better timing right there, Sin. Good stuff right there to the buzz. Yeah, man, only at 72, too. And he's going to start backing up. You see him throwing the Pikmin across the stage. I'm surprised he's helping to keep both the purple ones. Oh, wait, he has a white one, too. Yeah, this is a great lineup, actually. You can make him flinch if he tries to approach you with her. Yes, and right. then you got the white one to attack up all the percent, and now red, too. Oh, okay, a little too quick on the trigger there with the forward air. But you know what, though? Only has 10%, so not the worst position to be in in the world. But he is really struggling at fighting up close to person. One exchange right there took him from 10 to 59. These are the risks he just does not have the percent or the stocks to make. And that is the crazy thing about it is all of that came off of one down tilt. Uh -huh. And suddenly, look at you in the red. Oh, man, the whistle armor, but didn't really need it. Trying to escape Mr. E right now, sharking underneath him. Wants to get this stock off quick because every single time he hasn't been able to take a stock until he's already down by two. But oh, that actually start KO'd. I thought he was coming back down. Yeah, I didn't see I didn't see any red that time either. So I was a little confused, and it's so damn loud behind me that I couldn't hear That's like the, the, the yeah. death scream. So I was like, all right, it's it's a mix-up nonetheless, though. But you know, regardless of how that first stock went, the bun still has a pretty sizable lead, and it's Yikes. just steam up rolling into the next stock. Yeah, that's the same way he caught him on the first time. The Buzz just has that timing down pack on an up smash on stand. And, and this is what we were talking about earlier. Mr. E stands at ledge quite a bit, man. Yes. And the Buzz making him pay for it dearly. And I can understand how the ledge could be a really awkward position for Mr. E to be in because if he does neutral get up, he's going to hit with the up smash because it's so close to the Buzz's body. But if he rolls, then he runs the risk of being hit with down smash because that covers both sides. So. Yeah, and you know the Buzz is going to punish that jump. Or yes. like, <laughs> there yes. it is. Trying to safely get back to the stage, almost narrowly avoiding a down air right there to end the game mm -hmm. and the set. Oh, yeah. What are you? Oh, wow. Okay. Tossed out counter a little bit too early, but not for bad measure. I understand why he went for it. He was just a little misposition here. Let's see if he can turn this into something, though. 121% the dare off the ledge. Damn. Yeah, and I'm surprised he went for another stand at ledge last time. If he does it again here, you know it's GG's. That's right. Oh, get up attack. We got the mix-ups, boy. That's right. He's starting to learn. Oh, but maybe not enough, man. Yes. Yeah, too little, too late there. He's going to lose to that up air from the big girl herself. Uh, and all of them are going to get hit by her as well. But he's Monique. okay. Monique. Won the she set. Said, I would like to see it. <laughs> she said, I would like to see it. Dang, sitting on his, shield, or on his helmet, man. Come on. Right, poor helmet. <laughs> he doesn't look too upset.